Hey everybody, it's Connie again with the Artisan Company. Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to do the second pair of earrings that we started in the wood dyeing tutorial that we did a few weeks ago. We're going to complete those today and they're a turquoise color. They're beautiful, a dark turquoise. So let's go get started. Okay guys, this is the second earring in the wood dyeing tutorial that I did two weeks ago that I decided to finish. Oh my goodness. Uh, this is the balsa wood that I was telling you about earlier in the previous video. It's about a 55 millimeter by 38 millimeter uh, piece of balsa wood. I got these at Hobby Lobby, I believe. It's only about a millimeter, one millimeter thick, very, very thin. But this is what it looked like originally. And then once I started working with it, <laughs> we got this lovely uh, piece. Isn't this wonderful? Oh my goodness. Look at the front and this is the back. Oh my, look at the color gradient. Now this was done with uh, turmeric and ink is what I did this one with. And um, the back of it here, the first thing I did was uh, I did a wash of blue ink over the wood and then I came back and did a wash of turmeric over it and then came back after that dried a little bit I came back and did another wash of the, the blue ink and uh, I did it with a brush so I just kind of dabbled it you know just kind of with a brush like this dabbled it on there and then on the bottom, I did a concentration of the ink down here on the bottom to get that dark little thing right there in the curve of the wood. On the front here, I the original thing I did was I went all ink on the base first, completely all ink on the base. And I let that dry and I came back and I did another coat of ink on it and it was blue. And then once that uh, kind of got set in, but not completely dry, I came back with the turmeric and just did this middle section right here. Did all of it with a, a brush, a little tiny paintbrush. And I kept going over this until I got it the color I wanted it. Uh, I let it dry overnight or another day or two. And then I came back and see if I needed to add more. And I added a little bit more and let it dry. And it turned into this beautiful blue and yellow, turquoisey blue and yellow piece of wood. Oh my goodness. I'm just stoked about how this turned out. I'm just, ah! but you can go back and watch the tutorial. Uh, I did it two weeks ago. It's called uh, Prepping Jewelry Dying video. I think it was April 19th, something like that. And I show you different dyeing techniques using ink as well as natural things like turmeric, paprika, things like that, walnut. Uh, and we dyed wood and bone. So you want to know how to do this? Go look at it. Um, okay. So once I did this and it dried completely, I had to spray it. Okay. Cause you don't want the colors to run. So I used um, the clear gloss is the one I used on this piece of wood, but you can also use clear matte. This is the same thing I use to seal my paintings when I do them uh, as well. So you got to have one of the two of these, or you can use resin or any other spray that would seal a color on there. Okay. Here is where we are headed. I'm going to tell you what you need to do this particular earring. Look at this. This is where we're going with this little guy. Oh my goodness. Look at that. And I love to mix metals. So I'm mixing the silvers and the golds with this as well, just like I did on the last one. But oh my, oh my. And look at the back. We got to look just as good going as we do coming. So put a little something on the back kind of my signature of what I do. All right, so that's where we're headed. <laughs> this is so thrilling. My husband loves these. Okay, so you will need uh, some eight millimeter jump rings. And I used gold on this. You will need some uh, seven millimeter uh, jump rings in an oval, which is this. You can use a round 
two if you want to, but uh, I use the oval instead, but round would probably be easier to get on there. I'll tell you that right now. <laughs> okay. You'll need uh, six millimeter jump rings in gold and silver because you're going to mix the metals on the bottom. It's so exciting. You're going to need uh, four millimeter jump rings to hook some smaller things together on there. All right. My feather accent right here, about a 20 millimeter. It goes on the back. The connector I'm using right here, I found this at uh, Hobby Lobby. And it's about a 40 by 20, roughly um somewhere around in there but um i found these at hobby lobby and you can use any kind of connector you want to use that's up to you i just thought this one was pretty because it had this little place where you can do bead work in here and that's what i was looking for okay uh the next thing is obviously an ear wire of your choice and then i've got these little guys right here these are going to be my accent pieces and I said this on the last video of the other pair of earrings that I did, uh, the first pair I did. Uh, you can go to Fire Mountain online and look for their bargain bin stuff. And you can find little components like this all day long there for like a couple of dollars for a hundred or something like that. And that's where I got these. And this is a little hammered piece little thing any cute um but these are just metal and i had these in multiple colors i'm just using gold today but go check out their bargain uh sale stuff because you can get stuff like this for pennies on the dollar which will save you a lot of money uh and spruce up all of your stuff so you'll need some kind of little accent pieces to go in the middle all right First thing, we're going to put the jump rings on the piece that's going to go on the back of the earring. So it will be ready to go when you get there. All right. Open it up. Put that jump ring on there. Put your other jump ring on there. And it's ready to be connected to the back of the earring. All right. And you're going to set him to the side right there. All right, the next thing you're going to do is we're going to put all the jump rings on this little thing right here. Now, this is small space, and it's tiny, and it can be a little tedious putting jump rings on these. Just take your time. Do not get in a hurry. Um, you know, it is what it is. So you just have to take your time. So I'm putting the oval jump rings on the two outside um, loops there. And the three inside loops here, we're going to put these little tiny four millimeter jump rings on. So let me see what I can do here. I'm going to start with the ovals. This was such a pain in the wall so the other day when I started working on this. I was like, oh my. <laughs> Sometimes I bite off things and I go, what was I thinking? But you know, all right, I got it on there. It's just at a weird angle because you have all these things to work around. But just take your time. Take your time. All right, he's on there. All right. I'll just work my way across. Gonna do the little tiny, tiny uh, three, four millimeter ones in the middle. I may have to turn on my dehumidifier out here in my studio. It's getting that temperature again outside. All right. Ooh, it's so shiny. I can't hardly see it. I think that's where it is. I think that's him. Yeah. Oh, he's tiny, tiny, tiny. Don't fall off of there. All right. 
right, y'all. Oh, it's going the wrong way. Duh. All right, there it is. Okay. So that's the direction we're headed right there. I'm going to continue to put the rest of these jump rings on and I'll be back the next step okay we've got all the little jump rings on here and take your time doing it because it is tedium because you've got such these are so tiny uh, to work in there and it's hard to get your tools in there but just be patient okay <laughs> be patient all right the next thing we're going to do is put um the uh, six millimeter gold jump rings on our little uh decorative guy on the bottom and the three that are going to go right here in the middle all right and i'm going to pick out the best ones of these uh, that are the shiniest of the three so i'll do that one maybe this one and well, actually, let me do these two. We'll do put these over here. We'll do these. Okay. Jump rings goes on all of these little guys right here. And so we're going to connect these. Hands down in the camera. Sure. All right, so these are going to go in the middle on the little jump rings in the middle right here. So you're going to hook those in. <laughs> oh, my eyes, my eyes. Ah, get it down here in the camera, shawl. Everything's so shiny that it's very difficult to see it, believe it or not. And I put a brand new light bulb in, but oh, it didn't help the shine. All right, we're going to connect this one to the middle. Jump ring like that. Did I lose it? Oh, I lost my little guy. Oh, I lost my little guy. My little jump ring came off. I got to put him back on. I'll be right back. All right, I got him back on. <laughs> Lordy, I figured you guys didn't want to watch me do that. That's just stupid. Most of you know how to put on a jump ring, but for new people, that's why I'm doing it. Okay, so the last one is this third one right here. Connect it. Close it up. All right, so you have your centerpiece done right there. That's what it looks like. Isn't that exciting? And I need to turn this little jump ring right here. I'm going to flip it over so that the opening will be on the back because this is the front because of the, the little border there. All right. Let me flip him. All right, there we go. Last jump ring to put on on this one is this. This is for future. All right, so he's ready to go for the moment. Okay, so here's where we are on this. The next thing we're going to do is we are going to alternate the six millimeter gold and the six millimeter silver jump rings down here on this bottom part right here. You do not have to do that. I'm doing it because I think it adds interest and weight to the piece 
especially because the bottom of this is, is a heavier look down here. So I'm going to add some interest by alternating the, the gold and the silver jump rings. There's a total of 16 that will go on here. We will start with the gold. And as we alternate and go in, when I get to number nine, I'm going to add this little guy in there. But you can do it any way you want to. So I'm going to get started here with that. And I'm going to do a few so you can see uh, for the people who need to watch this. And we'll get to moving. So gold, silver next. Another gold. Another silver, etc., etc. All right, so you get the gist of, of what I'm doing here. All right, so it's going to be looking like that as I'm moving along. So I'm going to go ahead and put the rest of them on there and the little centerpiece on the bottom, and it goes in the middle. So I'll have that added on there too, and then I'll be right back. All righty. <laughs> okay, so we're at this juncture right here. If you're doing it exactly or almost identical to it, it should look like that at this juncture. That right there in itself would be a beautiful earring. <laughs> so <laughs> anyway, all right, we're going to connect the main component to the wood now. So you will need that eight millimeter jump ring and a gold. We're going to open it up. Uh, let me see here. Yes, it does go this way. Okay, got it. Oh. <laughs> All right, so we're hooking that onto the top like that. Then we are hooking this onto that. And it should look like that at this point. Okay. Then you are going to hook your silver leaf on the back. And remember, you're going to turn it because you want it to uh, be going. So this earring, this little guy should be going that way. You want them to face each other. Okay. You're going to close this up. Nope. Sorry. Sorry. Add your little uh, four millimeter jump ring that's going to connect your ear wire. Then you close it up. Okay. So it should look like that. This juncture. Okay. All right. Then the last thing you're going to do, is take your ear wire, open it up just, a, just enough that you can hook in this little tiny, tiny, tiny bead. I mean, jump ring. Make sure it's going the correct way. I might not have opened it enough. I didn't open it up. That's unusual. Okay. You know, the very last thing that you, when you're getting ready to end the video. The very last thing you got to do always winds up being the pain. <laughs> Ain't that the way it goes? Uh, all right. Okay, so that hooks over. There it is. 
Make sure your ear wire is closed up. There it is. <laughs> okay, there you go. Is that not gorgeous, people? Oh my goodness, look at this. Oh, wow, oh, wow, oh, wow. So here is your lovely pair of earrings. Guys, I really hope you try doing this. I'm challenging you to, to uh, you know, try to, to change up your color palettes and things. This is a custom dye job, guys, so there's not another pair like it anywhere. There will not be. Even yours will not look exactly like this. It's custom. Got to love it. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. Please go back and look at the prepping jewelry dyeing uh, video. And that's uh, where you will see how to do this. And it's going to change your whole world of, of color. So I'll see you guys on the next video. Bye.